Jesus came to fix everything that was wrong in the world. And what was wrong in the world was us. And the one thing we don't want him to fix is us. Because we're right. It's the rest of those idiots that we live with. Jesus came to fix what was wrong in the world. What was wrong with the world is sin. Sin is what separated God from the people he created because he loved us. Sin is the root cause of every bad thing, including death itself, that people suffer under. Jesus came to free the world from the power of sin. Jesus came to give us God. An absolute, unfettered relationship with God the Father, through God the Son, empowered by God the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus came to give us. All we had to do was receive the gift, accept the work that he did. We wanted stuff. God offered us himself, and instead we wanted stuff. And I wish that was just the people in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. But that's not the conclusion I've come to. Jesus, the Messiah, came to recreate us. But people wanted him to fix everything but them. You see, the problem wasn't them and their separation from God. It was everything around them. What God says about us doesn't matter because of what people do. Well, they don't treat me fairly. Guess what? No one in the history of the world has ever been treated fairly. The whole reason I'm standing here in church is because I'm not treated fairly. Fairly means my butt goes to hell. Was what Jesus did for me fair? Was it equitable? Oh, well, we need to have equity. Oh, shut up. What Jesus did for me was not equitable. He gave everything. I simply have to trust what he did and receive it. We think the world around us is the problem. The problem is the sin in the world around us. When it became apparent that Jesus wasn't going to become their political, economic, environmental king, it made them very upset. And by Friday, they'd had him killed. 